Please describe your job title and primary duties. Um, my primary duties mainly were working, I started working the grill maybe my third week there, and but I started with the substation, that's where most people start, and you basically wrap the sandwiches and dress them, and then before your shift is over, they clean all of their dishes, they hand wash everything, there's no dishwashers or anything, so you hand wash the dishes as well, and with their meat, they cut, the chicken is like, it's no frozen byproduct or anything, it's actual raw chicken. So you have to cut the chicken and cut certain things out of it. And you put that in the, th you put that in the, um, can't talk, in the Tupperware. And also the potatoes, you have to scrub the potatoes and clean them. And you have to scrub them under cold water. So that's kind of like your hands are going to be freezing. Um, that was one of my duties, and the last one I would say, other than cleaning the dining room, is also prepping the cookies and making lemonade. What was the work environment like? So the environment can go from being fun and laid back to being pretty hectic and fast paced like that. What was your favorite part about working there? I would say my favorite part is probably the customer service experience. Any job, I like working with people. So you're going to have people such as like around 3 a.m. before they close, you have kind of the drunk crew. So um, that can be pretty interesting, learning how to diffuse certain situations or handle those to the best of your ability. So mainly the customer service and also time management because the meals, when they someone put the order in, they have to be greeted within five seconds of coming inside. After that, they make their food. While they're prepping the food, it comes through the oven. And the oven, it, I want to say it's around 75 seconds. So by the time the meal gets to you, you have to make everything. The whole process has to be under six minutes. So you have to bake their sub, um, dress it, cut it, wrap it, and get it out to them. So that can be pretty hard when um, there's a lot of subs like coming at you at once. but. I would say definitely that was probably one of my favorite parts, time management, it taught me, and customer service. Please describe the application and interview process. Yes, I did fill out a paper application. Um, I'm not sure if they do. I know they probably take applications online, but mainly you're still gonna have to fill out another application once you get there. So with your um, work availability and everything, so you can go in and see if they're hiring and if they are, they'll usually have applications at the front um, by the menu, and you can just get one. What questions did the interviewer ask during the job interview? She asked you in certain, um, basically let's say you have a customer and he's very angry and he wants his food refunded, what would you do in that situation? Or what is a situation that you had to diffuse and how did you handle it? Um, also, have you ever been terminated from a job? If so, why? Um, what do you feel like is one of your strongest, um, what do you feel like is one of your strengths and what would you feel like is your weakness? Questions like that. How were you notified that you received the job? Um, I would say it took them about two weeks to contact me and it mainly depends on the manager because I first started off with Teresa and they were going in between managers. So some managers like to get you in and out. Um, some managers like to do other things first before. But um, from the time your background check takes about a few days, I would say a few days to a week. So you definitely have to wait for your background check to go through. Um, after they hire everyone, um, they'll, let's say if you start at the beginning of the process, they'll probably hire that entire week. So if you start at the beginning of the week, you're definitely gonna to have to wait maybe a week before they even put your background check in. So I would say at least two weeks it took for me. And they ended up calling me. So she, yes, she did call me and they will get your um, cell phone number afterwards so they'll text you about a few things as well. So that's mainly how we communicated. What set you apart from other candidates? Probably because I had prior work experience. I worked at um, Steak and Shake, and I worked at there. I worked at Steak and Shake ever since I was 15, going on 16, I would say, and I did not stop until maybe my freshman year of college. 
So I had a lot of customer service experience, especially in the food industry. What other advice would you give to a job seeker looking to gain employment? I would say customer service, especially in the food industry, can be very stressful. So you should just know how to handle those type of situations um, under stress. Um, I will also say for uniform, your shoes are very important, especially because in the back, since I did say we did hand wash things, it's going to be a lot of water. So non-slip shoes. Um, in the winter, you could wear boots. So I wear black boots. Your boots have to be black. Um, wear comfortable pants, something that's stretchy because you're going to be bending over a lot. So that's some advice that I'll give, especially like when I said with the natural hair, make sure you have it pulled back because with the hats, um, you can't have it out. So with anybody, you always have to have your hair pulled back. Um, can't be in your face. Um, no super long nails. Um, I don't think your nails can have like any outlandish polish on them. And also natural hair colors. I don't think you can wear like pink or blue hair. Um, and be friendly. I would definitely say that because especially if you do not have the experience, having a friendly personality can mainly take you up a lot because they did have a prior manager and he wasn't friendly at all and a lot of people reported him. So even though he had the experience, he was demoted. So definitely have a great personality. Mm -hmm.